Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Justin Betty. It's been about 10 months since the Bernstein family lost their 20 year old daughter, Bailey Jo, who was struck allegedly by a drunk driver while walking. Now some chalk art in Wapaton, they say, has reopened those wounds, leaving the grieving family searching for answers. Valley News Team's Gabriel Osler has more in this VNL investigation. When they heard about it, the Bernstein family was shocked. I didn't even think anybody could uh, do something like that, um, but, you know, the world's crazy. This chalk art reading, Sidewalks Save Lives, with a smiley face, appearing on the ground outside the home of Chad Olson. The man accused of driving while intoxicated, hitting 20-year-old Bailey Jo Bernstein and ending her life. The community is, they're, they're angry. They know what we are going through and, and they know that we're still grieving, even, you know, close to a year from the accident. The message would come as a pretty insensitive dig at the family implying that the situation could have been avoided if Bailey Jo and her mother, Christy, were not walking on 11th Street South in Wapton. The Bernsteins are not accusing Olson of drawing the offending art himself, though they do find it odd that it was left in place for multiple days. If someone was disappointed in the message, they could have possibly, you know, took a hose and got rid of it like they did on Monday when they washed the car. So. Exactly. We went by Olson's residence to see if he was interested in discussing the issue. Hey, Chad. Uh, my name's Gabe. I'm with Valley News Live out in Fargo. Uh, we just went and talked to the uh, to the Berensteins, and uh, so I wanted to just swing by and see if you were here. Just wanted to see if you had anything uh, to say about the chalk art and stuff. Olson's attorney, Mark A. Freeze of Fargo did speak with the Wapton Daily News on his client's behalf, denying that Olson had any involvement. He said, quote, Olson didn't do it, and he wouldn't do it. It's the wrong forum at the wrong time. The art is now gone, and Olson's trial still awaits. Through it all, the Bernsteins want everyone to remember what made Bailey Jo special as a person. She, she was a giver. She was. she was. had a heart of gold. She'd take the shirt off her back and help anybody. In Wapton, Gabriel Osler, Valley News Live. The attorney went on to say he would not request a change of venue from Richland County. Jury selection is set to begin October 15th. That's exactly one year since Bailey Joe died.